Porsche 911s have been among world's best driving enthusiast cars for years, while the all-wheel drive 911 Turbo and Turbo S are among the best of the lineup's best. Of the 24 911s available, the Turbo S sits near the top. With the Turbo's 3.8-liter, twin-turbo flat-6 producing 540 HP and the S version cranking out 580 HP, only the Zany 911 GT2Rs offers more of everything. The Turbo S was redone for the 2017 model year, when 911 turbos got a 20 HP bump and what Porsche calls dynamic boost function. Its job is to maintain turbo boost pressure during load changes for better throttle response. The Sport Chrono package is also now standard, with normal, sport, sport plus and individual modes. Been a while since I drove the beloved, by me, at least, 911 turbo. Flipping through the AutoWeek archives I've called it my favorite Porsche. Over the years I've written, I love the way the car looks with its scoops and spoilers and such. The driving position is perfect. The car is just such a screamer 60 miles per hour arrived before I knew it. On and on I went. I'm not the only one around here at times expressing 911 turbo love, by the way. We once wrote, nothing beats Porsche's 911 turbo and called it the world's best over the road machine. That was then. What about now, all these years later? I stand by what I've written low these many decades. My first day in the latest turbo here in Detroit is a sloppy, rainy mess, so the goal is to not prang it. It's not the turbo I'm worried about, it can certainly handle anything the weather is going to throw at it. It's not my less than awesome driving skills. The car can handle anything I'm going to do. No, it's the punks texting of course, in the clapped out centrist and rickety old omnis who can't see out the windshields because their wipers are shot. I just know one's going to hit me. So I'm cooling it, not mashing the accelerator, stomping the brakes, throwing it into corners, none of that. What I am doing is watching those around me carefully. And I am actually learning a few things. I learn that the 911 Turbo is perfectly happy just subtly, or at least as subtle as a bright yellow, 580 HP Porsche can be, cruising around. It's flexible and comfortable, with a ride that is somehow firm but not bone rattling on Detroit roads. The car is making no demands of me. Its all-wheel drive is laughing at the rain and standing water. We wrote at the car's launch that its comportment, at least from the driver's seat, can be as nondescript as a 580 HP sports car can be. Exactly right. The next day is thankfully dry, so time to have some fun. For starters, the car is an absolute rocket. Power comes on instantly, or at least as instantly as you'd want. Off the line, 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds, mid-range, top end speed, doesn't matter. Whether I'm in normal, sport, sport plus mode that doesn't matter either. It seems like I just think about accelerating and the next thing I know I'm soaring over the road faster than I can say Hurley Haywood. Yet the turbo is so easy to drive so calm and forgiving, it always feels slower than I'm actually going. Two things stand out, one, I like the PDK transmission. Blasphemy, you say? Nonsense, I respond. It can shift quicker and smoother than I can. Not once during my time behind the wheel do I think a manual transmission would better serve the driving experience. 2. The steering feels perfect to me at all speeds. There's a purity to it one simply doesn't find in other cars. It's light and quick and direct, but not overeager. It's just right. If there's a car for sale right now with better steering than a 911 any 911 please let me try it. We have a few naysayers in the office. No one argues the car is fast and crazy grippy. But some complain it's too heavy. Others that it's too safe feeling. They like their 911s to have more edge, more rawness. As for me, 
I continue to be gobsmacked by what Porsche accomplishes with the 911 Turbo every time I drive one. I can't think of another car I'd rather drive every day. It's probably the first thing I'd buy if I won the lottery.